My name is Kenneth Smith, and the book that I've written is The True Origin of Man. It leaves out all vagueness and brings you to an exact point which you can comprehend and understand. It will appeal to a Christian audience as well as a scientific audience. The Christian community, which is of devout faith of God, this book touches on that. And it also, for the scientific community, it presents something that they can take to the laboratory and test for themselves and pan it out and say, is it true or false with accurate mathematical calculations that confirm the outcome, which is the true history of man, how we got here, where we come from. I found that people who have sort of a one track or bias thinking mind might find the book controversial. On the hot nights, men and women who were building the great tower would gather at the shallow pools of water for unwed sex. Men would gather nightly, fulfilling their needs with the women who came. But many came to realize that all the sex in the world couldn't replace true love. Quite often men and women found true love after this venture of fornication, which was sort of a trying the shoes on first to see if they fit. But this is how man started to fall from the grace of God during this period. What I hope the reader takes away from the book is that broadening our horizon and direction is key to coming to understanding in our human race today.